Good morning, everybody. I wanted to talk for a second about the chrysanthemums. So if you open up your book to page 459, I want to talk about the chrysanthemums and setting. Remember, the elements of fiction, whether, those ele well, the, whether the element be character, setting, plot, these, these elements of fiction are used to help the reader get a sense of what the story is about, give meaning. So the setting in the chrysanthemums is crucial to understanding the story. This setting, which is given in the first two sentences of the story, sets up everything. It sets up the character's journey. It tells us the ending of the story. It sets the tone of the story. So on page 459, the high gray flannel fog of winter closed off the Salinas Valley from the sky and from the rest of the world. So you have a fog. What is fog? You can't see through fog. Fog is very thick. It's very dense. It obscures your vision. On every side, it, the fog, sat like a lid on the mountains and made of the Great Valley a closed pot. So you have this fog and it's descending, it's enveloping, it's hovering over the Salinas Valley. So the characters in the land in this story do not have access to the beautiful blue open sky. They are trapped, they are closed off from the rest of the world. Is this story gonna be a happy one? Do we see wonderful things happening to our characters? Do you see a happy ending in the future? It's very similar to Araby. Remember, Araby, you have a blind street. These, these first few sentences of a short story really captivate and encompass what the story is going to be about. It sets the tone. It tells you kind of what the characters are going to go through. So when you look for elements of fiction, particularly setting, you can get a real sense of what the story is going to be about. I hope that helps. Um, keep reading, and I can't read, wait to read more of your discussion forums. Have a great day.